Hi, thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to look at two things. One, creating and managing groups in Infoworks 360, and then sharing your model online. First, to manage groups, you need to be on the home screen and open up the Manage Group Membership dialog. In here, you can move to the Administer Groups and add a new project group. Once you give the group a name, and typically this can be something like a project team or a work group that you're going to share models with, you can then add users to that group. And you do this by simply clicking on the add user and then typing in their email address. Now, you'll see that I'm adding users in as publishers. This gives them the right to add information to the Infoworks 360 model that gets synchronized amongst the entire team. Now, tomorrow morning, both of the folks that I've added here will have invites to be part of my new Nurture Accounts group, and we can all share models together. When you're done adding in members, you simply click the Done button on the bottom right, and you'll return to the home screen. Now let's look at how we can share that model online. So go to the Infrastructure Design and Presentations tool set and look for the Scenario Browser toolbox on the left-hand side. This will open up a panel where we can create an area to share online because typically we don't want to share the entire Infoworks 360 model with try and use it with a web browser, it just gets too big. So we'll create a scenario and then what we do is we give that a description. So in this case, we're just going to show the overall development view. So we're gonna look at our entirety. You know, it's a relatively small subdivision, but in terms of the area, we're going to pick not the entire Infoworks 360 model. So I just pick a box and you'll see that we use the sort of typical blue shoebox selection to select an area and give yourself some room around your model, but don't go too crazy. Remember, you're going to be looking at this in your web browser. So once you have that area selected, you can choose to process or render storyboards and make them available online. So it will essentially have that camera path predefined and the recipient will be able to view it in a browser. And then you can also look at the access rights. So you can turn on, for example, public access. This means you could email or publish the link to the browser to the model, to anyone through an email or a project website, or heck, you could put it in a tweet. And anybody who clicked on that link would then be able to browse. Once you select and set up this scenario, press the sync button and your model will be updated to the cloud and Autodesk 360 will begin the rendering process of preparing your model for view in a browser. When it's done, you'll be able to see the model in a browser. And you can see here, I'm using Chrome. And this is a free navigation of the model. You know, you'll notice the level of details a, a little bit different from what it is inside of Infoworks 360, but you know, it's still, you're seeing a model in a web browser and this can be updated and this can be shared. So there's some settings you can play with. Um, one of my favorites is to go in and set up the auto rotate camera. And you can see it just begins to automatically pivot my model around and you can play with that speed and, and do all sorts of fun things. Either way, being able to view an Infoworks 360 model in a browser is a very, very powerful communication tool for sharing with all the other stakeholders. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, join the Infoworks 360 community by visiting the website on your screen. There you'll see forums, the idea station for sharing your ideas, and Infra Tips, where you can learn more ways to make Infoworks 360 a more powerful part of your infrastructure workflow. Thanks again.